Storm Shield Network Security Maintenance. So in maintenance, uh, we have uh, uh, four tabs to look at. We have the system update, and we have the backup, restore, and we have configuration. Now, when it comes to the system update, where we can push a new firmware update to the firewall, you can check for new updates. So you can just simply click here, and you will get a list of available uh, firmware that you can download to the firewall. Or you can just simply log into the uh, Stormsheet portal, download the uh, firmware that you want, and you can just manually browse from this button, and you can browse for the file and just update the firmware. So when you go to the Stormsheet portal, you can easily go to download, and you will find different things you can download. So what concerns us uh, for the moment is downloading a firmware. So you can see here are the uh, recent firmwares regarding version 1, 2, and 3. So you can go inside, for example, the latest one, uh, 3.4.1 as of now. And you can, first of all, read the release note to see if it's matching with, with your uh, hardware model and also the new features, the bug fixes, if there is any limitation. Sometimes there are some things that, that you need to pay attention to. Then you can, if it's uh, matching with your needs, so you can just go for the uh, right model of your firewall and you can just simply download the uh, firmware file. So you can you can download it manually as I said and then uh, you can push it. Now once you update the firmware it will reboot the firewall to apply the new firmware uh, to the firewall. Now this update will take a few minutes uh, and uh, there is something important that you need to uh, look at which is this option. I know it's in gray but however it says that save the active partition on the backup partition before updating the firewall. Stormsheet firewalls uh, have two partitions, one which is active, the one you are working on, and another one is passive. And these two partitions, both of them, they can have different firmware, they can have different configuration, and you can boot from any of them, and you can totally work on any of them. This is really a good good option and uh, like sort of uh, backup plan. If things go wrong, for example, on one firmware or one configuration, you can always have a good firmware and a good configuration that you can roll back to boot from and also you can restore them so you can copy from uh, from both direction to the port direction so you can I can copy from backup to main or from main to backup now what does this option mean is that I have a new uh, firmware update and uh, I have currently on my active uh, partition I have system of version X and I have configuration of version Y I have on my backup partition for example a system uh, firmware of uh, an old uh, firmware X-1 for example and an old configuration uh, Y-1 and I have a new firmware which is X-1 so once you update the firmware the only thing that will be changing is the firmware on the active partition configuration will remain the same as you can see they will remain config Y as they were before the update only the firmware will change and also if you have chosen this uh, checkbox so uh, it will also take a copy of the uh, recent uh, one before update the system x and config y will become actually on the backup partition so that's the uh, good option that you, that you can use now another thing uh, when you go to the second tab where you can see backup of configuration so you can just simply download the backup of configuration and remember that you have the option to uh, encrypt the backup of configuration uh, with a password so you can provide a password here and uh, you have also the option to uh, take an automatic uh, backup of configuration on a uh, cloud service so you can subscribe to a cloud service so with a storm sheet where you can in, uh, like regularly uh, update the backup of configuration of your firewall to our cloud servers where you can restore them at any moment and this is really really good in some cases uh, you will find that this saves a lot of uh, time now also you can have the option to create your own customized uh, server and we have a knowledge base article that explains how to create your own cloud server where uh, it's a simple HTTP server in fact locally inside your network where the firewalls will keep writing the uh, configuration files into that server where you can also roll back to them at any moment. Then when you go to the restore you will see that you can browse for the backup uh, configuration file and after you browse for it you can just simply restore by the way, you can restore everything. This is the default option when you go to advanced properties. But also you can uncheck the first one and you can choose specific things to 
uh, restore. So maybe you want only to restore the IPS configuration or maybe some network objects only. You don't want to, to restore everything. So this is really helpful, especially when, uh, for example, you are sharing some configuration with multiple firewalls and you don't want to like recreate everything from scratch. You can simply, one of the ways, of course, we have other, other smarter way, in fact, but this is also usable where you can just take one back of configuration, restore similar things on multiple firewalls. It will be much easier for you and it will save a lot of time. Then you have also the option to restore from the cloud. If you have subscribed to the app service, you also can see the list of uh, cloud version that you have and you can restore to. If you have uh, provided a password for the cloud backup, then you need also to provide the password for uh, the cloud backup when you restore them as well. Last option, which is the configuration, you have uh, the choice to choose between main partition or backup partition. And it will also uh, clarify which, uh, what kind of firmware that you have on each of these two partitions. So you can choose, I want to boot from backup, for example. So you can just say boot from backup and make it the active partition and just that's it. So it, once you reboot, you will, you will boot from the backup partition. You have also the two the simple things for rebooting the firewall or shut down the firewall. And you have also the last thing is the download system report, which is very, very important option. Let me show you. Now when we go under system maintenance on my firewall, of course, the uh, uh, two partitions, the active uh, partition of, and the passive one, the main and backup, they are actually not available on virtual machines. And I'm sorry for this, but uh, I'm using a virtual machine, not a hardware firewall. So I don't have that option. It's exactly the same. As you can see, backup, you can take a backup configuration. So I can just simply click on download the backup configuration. You can specify the name you want. You will get the link to download. So you just click on this link and simply just download. Now, uh, on, if you provided, of course, as I said, if you provided a password here, when you do a restore, you need also to provide a password. So I can go to restore and I can choose the backup file I want. Okay, let's say, for example, I take this one. And you can just simply restore. If you have set a password, you need to provide a password here. And then you have the option not to restore everything because normally when you restore all the modules, actually it will ask for a reboot. Uh, but if you ask for a very specific or, or minor things, uh, the reboot is not really required. I will check, I will test, for example, with network objects only. So this should not affect anything. I'm just adding new objects. It should not affect anything with the configuration. So just simply I restore the configuration only the network object without the need for any reboot. As you can also see here that since I'm actually running on a virtual machine, I don't have the uh, main and backup partitions. And uh, I have the uh, reboot shutdown and also I have the download system report. This is an uh, important report to understand and to know what does it represent. The uh, system report, it actually provides the state of the firewall. So once you uh, check the state of the firewall, it explains to you exactly at this moment what are the status of all the modules of the firewall? So, for example, when you check the system update, so it represents the firmware of the firewall. When you speak about the backup and restore, you are speaking about the configuration that you have on the firewall. When you speak about the system report, okay, you are speaking about the state of the firewall. So, when you are opening a ticket, for example, with the TAC team, you need to tell them which firmware you are using. Then you need to provide them uh, with a backup of configuration so they can know what kind of configuration you are applying. And then also you need to provide them with a system report because the system report will, for example, tell uh, the attack team uh, what are the interfaces are connected uh, currently, which interface is disconnected, uh, how much is the throughput, if there is any packet loss, if the recent alerts on the firewall, uh, the usage of memory of the CPU, like different things about the state of the firewall. So it's totally different. And this is very important information to know. This is a readable file, by the way, so you can open to the notepad and just view and read it in the different sections. Um, so that's all for the maintenance. I hope it was informative. Thank you for watching.